Hello everyone, this is Nitpicky Nerd and I just watched the fifth episode of season 3 of Star Trek Discovery and it started out pretty good, I actually was enjoying it, I thought finally it has the spirit of Star Trek again, finally it shows us nice uh, things and then <laughs> I keep saying don't mess it up and I knew what they were going to do and I was hoping they wouldn't but then they did and uh, there was no reason to it. There was no point to make it nasty. Like they could have done the exact same story they did in the rest of the episode and it would have been the same with the overall story of the season. It wouldn't have affected it, but they still had to make it nasty. And uh, I really dislike it. And that's part of the reason I dislike this whole show from the start, that it always was nasty for the sake of being nasty. And uh, this really annoyed me. And um, it's basically a missed opportunity. I would have enjoyed this episode so much more if they simply kept it light-hearted and uh, nice and brilliant. And there doesn't have to be a tension between all the characters all the time. Like, it doesn't have to be tense for all the time and all of that. And so it's like the show is trying too hard to be edgy and to be cool and to be heroic. And, uh, you know, everything has to be exaggerated. And it would have been so nice to, to watch just a relaxed comedy episode for a change or something like that without such high stakes, without being on your edge of the seat, you're supposed to be tense for all the time. Like, I want to watch a show and relax for a change. Like, that's one of the reasons I used to like the old Star Trek shows. Because most of the time you could just sit back and relax and just watch something nice. Of course, there were the occasional, like, uh, tragic episodes or tenseful episodes or uh, emotional episodes. And that's fine, but most of the time it was kind of relaxing. And, you know, even, you know, those holodeck episodes, just the whole episode is inside of a holodeck, something funny, something nice to watch, and you can just relax. But with this show, it constantly has to be everything is dark, everything is uh, cruel, everything is so emotional, and so I'm sick of it, <laughs> so... So I don't think I like this episode. I like the beginning when it showed an optimistic, uplifting return to Starfleet. They find the headquarters of Starfleet. And so it started out so great. And I was thinking maybe this show is finally getting back to what Star Trek is supposed to be. But then and I keep saying, no, don't do that. Don't make them evil. Don't make them evil. And then they make them evil. <sighs> now, they didn't make them totally evil. They just made them kind of assholes and... Uh, Maybe it's even worse this way. Like, I would have preferred they do them like straight up villains and then Discovery has to escape them or to fight them and then find the real Starfleet somewhere else. That would have been better, I think, than, uh, than this. That They basically bastardized Starfleet. Just like they did with Earth in uh, a few episodes ago. They get back to Earth, but Earth are now xenophobes and racist and they hate their own kind even on other planets in the same solar system. And it's stupid. It totally destroys the vision of the enlightened humanity and all of that. And so they did the same thing here. So they did find Starfleet and it is indeed Starfleet. These are not imposters. These are not uh, that uh, admiral. Is not some guy in disguise. He is really the admiral and this is really how Starfleet is now. And yet they're nasty people and uh, they're disgusting. And so that's the end of the Star Trek vision as far as I'm concerned. And so I don't want to watch people like that. It's nasty. Of course the crew of the Discovery are relatively now seem to be nice, but I, can I forget the first season when uh, all of those people on the Discovery itself are also nasty guys. And uh, Michael is always is shown to be kind of a saint. She's the only saint in the whole universe. And that is kind of disgusting on itself because it's so unbelievable. It's kind of uh, too pompous. It's too arrogant and all of that. And so I don't like this episode. That's all I can say without spoilers. I'll do another review going into all the details and discussing continuity and breaking down everything that happens. But uh, I will do it a little bit later today. So that's all for now. So I rank this episode pretty low, I would say. Like, it wasn't really interesting. The second half of the story was kind of boring and it's kind of pointless. And uh, the episode kind of redeemed itself a little bit in the end because, uh, you know you know what I wish they would have done if they said that this was some kind of psych test that they're running the discovery through? If in the very end that Admiral said that he was uh, behaving tough on them deliberately to see if they're uh, able to handle it, or some kind of test, uh, some kind of psych test, just like Starfleet used to do in the past, or like, uh, remember when Picard kind of abused that uh, Bajoran Ensign because he wanted to see if she's tough enough 
to handle tough situations because he wanted to send her on a dangerous mission and so he basically tested her by being an asshole toward her and that reveal in the end kind of redeemed him it kind of uh, made us forgive him for his nasty behavior early on and we knew that he's not really like that so if they did something like that in the end if in the very end admiral suddenly turned uh, nice and he said oh i deliberately wanted to see if you're uh, strong enough to handle tough situations and uh, if you will follow orders even if you dislike the one given it and so on if it was all some kind of test to see what uh, they're made of then I could have forgiven this, but it wasn't the case. So they basically they had to impress this admiral so that he will allow them to keep the ship and all of that. And it's not good enough in my opinion, because I will forever view him as a kind of an asshole. Like, I wish he would die in the next episode. Like, I don't care. They made all the characters nasty. There was that new lieutenant who kind of reminded me of that uh, nasty lieutenant from the first season of Discovery. The one who was so loyal to Lorca and she got killed off by her own stupidity. Like, uh, all the characters in this episode remind me of that character. So this show didn't learn its lesson not to make us hate all the characters in the show. So I don't want to watch a show in which I hate all the characters on the screen all the time. And so that's why I don't like this episode. So anyway, that's all I have to say about it for now. I'll do an extensive review later on. Let me know what you think and we can discuss it in the comment section below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.